don't know what to do. I don't know how to style it. <laughs> Ugh. Whatever. Okay, hi guys. <coughs> Hey guys, today we're doing a review slash comparison. We're comparing the ever popular Gorilla Snot Gel with the most delicious name with the Cream of Nature Flexible Styling Snot Gel. The Gorilla Snot has been out for such a long time. This is actually a men's product. A lot of naturals love it. A lot of people love it in general. It's just a really, really great holding gel. And I actually started using this for the first time this summer for my edges because I couldn't find anything that would hold my edges down. I didn't end up making a video on it just I got really busy but yeah I really love this gel sorry my hair is girding on my nerves okay it's fine it's gonna go up in two seconds so anyway I did notice that cream of nature came up with their own flexible holding styling gel and they called it snot as well and these products look very similar I'm wondering why they had to call it snot too like you could have called it something else but maybe they wanted people to know that it was comparable to this I don't know biting off people's names, but it's fine, it's fine. So anyway, I haven't tried it, so I don't know if they're comparable, but I'm just assuming because of the name and how they both look, they're both like orange gels, um, and they're both flexible whole gels, so. But we're gonna test that today, we're gonna find out for sure. The two biggest differences that I can tell so far without having used this one is how much they cost and the ingredients. So you can buy this 11.9 ounce squeeze jar at Target for $3. I looked online and it said that you can find it at Walgreens and Target. I could not find it on either of those stores, not even online. I had to actually order this off of Amazon and I got this for $11. But then the other difference is of course the ingredients. Uh, this Gorilla Snot Gel is not natural at all, girl. I'm really excited to give this a try because just reading this ingredients list, we're seeing a lot more natural ingredients. Yeah, they even dyed the gel to make it look the same. That's hilarious. Yeah, this one looks a lot safer ingredients wise than the original Gorilla Snot Gel. I looked on like how to use this online. It says that you can use it for like twisting your hair, for twist outs and for updos. So we're definitely gonna use this on our edges today. And then for the sake of this video, we're going to make an updo just to see how it holds. So we're gonna do two space buns. Just re-moisturize a little bit with some rose water. But we want the hair to also be flexible, right? I'm gonna use a little bit of cream. Again, so that the hair is pliable. I mean, I haven't tried the cream of nature, but I know the Gorilla Snot Gel is pretty drying. So you're gonna wanna put something underneath to protect your hair. On this side, I'm going to use the Gorilla Snot first. And so you can get a little bit of feel of the texture. It's a very sticky gel. Cannot believe I'm putting this all over my hair like this. Oh, girl, what? Oh, look how sticky it is. Why would anybody do this? Ugh, feels so weird going on. I've never applied this much of this gel. Oh, it just feels wrong. It's like I'm putting glue on my head. So I just brush it in. Oh, okay, it doesn't look bad though. Fun. It's so hot today, but it's raining, so it's humid and hot. This is actually really good for this hairstyle today. We're gonna see really how this stuff works. This bun is done. Now we're gonna repeat on the other side, applying a little bit of rose water to moisturize. Applying a cream as a buffer. Anytime you use gels, you do want to put something between your hair and the gel just to protect it. All right, on the side, we're using our Cream of Nature Flexible Styling Snot. I'm excited, let's see the texture of this guy. That's the same texture, it was definitely a thicker. Yeah, ooh. This. Okay. Oh, it's not as sticky. This is not as sticky as the Gorilla Snot. Hmm, very thick. It feels more like a, a buttercream than a gel. This one has scent. The Gorilla Snot doesn't really have a scent. Let's apply it. Mm. 
This one has less of a shine. I don't know if you can tell. Look how shiny this side is. This side is not as shiny. I kind of like that. I kind of like that natural finish. It's nice. Both of our buns have been created. Yeah, I definitely noticed a difference right off the bat. So the Gorilla Snot is definitely a stickier gel. This has a nicer texture. I like the texture of this a lot better. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's like snot. I'd say it's more like a buttery cream. It's not that nasty. It, I mean, I'm used to using flaxseed gel, which is definitely like snot. So maybe that's the difference. But yeah, this is not, this is not the snot that I'm used to. But I like this texture. It's like a buttery cream. And I love the finish. I love that it's not super shiny because it just looks more natural. Can we zoom in? Hey girl. Let's do our edges really, really quick. The Gorilla Snot first. Ooh. This is a very sticky gel. Just look at that. Super sticky. So this can get kind of messy. And you know what, I'm sure this is so bad for your skin and for your like follicles and all that. So if you guys do put this on your hair, just try to wash it out quickly. You know, this is not something that you want on your hair long term. It's not the healthiest. And I guess we'll just use this to, to brush. And I've got lots of baby hairs now because my postpartum shedding. So this is a good time to test this out. <laughs> then I go in and just do a little bit of the detail right just so you can see I love this stuff for my baby hairs look at this works so nicely and it lasts like I said I first tried this in the summer because it was really humid and nothing was working and, you know I just decided to give it a try because it had so many great reviews and I was so happy and pleased this stuff works really well so there's a that sleeky fleeky edge sleeky fleeky so <clears throat> there you go that's the sleek not sleek <laughs> so on the other side let's give the cream of nature try let's see it's like a butter and i wouldn't say it's like snot it's, this is like a it's like a bouncy butter this looks nothing like snot okay i tend to be the snot connoisseur in these parts and don't ask me why just trust me. So I'm gonna apply this the exact same way. And this is definitely a thicker consistency. Ooh. I don't know how I feel about this for my edges. I feel like I'm putting a really thick buttercream on my edges, which I don't like. Okay, we're giving it a try, we're giving it a try. Let's brush it down. Oh, it's so thick, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. I mean, very nice. Just feels gross. Doesn't look bad at all. Oh, it feels kind of nice. Like after you, after you uh, brush it in, it feels really nice. Okay, I can get into this. This is nice. Yes, this is cool. This feels smooth. Like the, the way that my comb and brush just glided on those edges felt so good. And again, I really like how it doesn't set shiny. Okay, cream of nature, I see you. I see you. This is dope. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> you guys, <sighs> looks so good and it feels so good. Okay, so far I love this stuff. This is bomb. It's such a natural looking set and it's so smooth. Look at this, look at my edges. It looks like lace. I am wearing a dually. Is that what it's called? A dolly, a, do a dolly? It was so easy to do it, it was so sleek. And you can kind of tell, like it just looks effortless. You see the difference? I mean, this still looks good too, but this looks hard. This looks soft. Okay, we want this all to dry 
equal opportunity chances here. We're going to put on our obligatory scarf to compact our hair and allow it to set. I'm excited and like it's really hot you guys like I'm so hot I'm like sweating so this is good. We're gonna see what actually happens. Give it a good solid 30 to 40 minutes to set. I can probably zoom out now. We'll come back and see what we're working with. So far so good. All right we'll be back. All right guys so it's been about an hour and 15 minutes and the hair should be dry by now. Uh The scarf is <laughs> the scarf is sticking to my head, dude. Okay. Alright, so the gorilla snot gel, the scarf comes off nicely. But uh this is definitely This is definitely sticking to my head. This is kinda hilarious. I mean it doesn't hurt, it's just let me just try to peel this off without messing up my hair. You guys, this is crazy. I don't have words for this. This is, wow. Wow. All right. Um, <laughs> I don't even know where to start. It feels so tight, like both sides, except for this, is, this one feels tighter than even the Gorilla Snot Gel. Like this stuff is insane. Like I thought this was heavy duty. No, 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 no. This is heavy duty. You guys, look at my hair. It's not even moving. Wow. I feel like I have Elmer's glue on my head. This is hilarious, but I like it. It works, it works really well. Both sides dried seamlessly like it's not budging surprisingly the gorilla snot gel has a softer hold than the cream of nature gel this is the gorilla snot and this is the cream of nature not even when i do this is it coming up this isn't coming up either well yeah it, i can move this i don't want to mess it up but if i if i wanted to i could move that i really have to kind of get my nail under here to move it the results are amazing for both products. Again, I'm loving the hold on the cream of nature side. It just doesn't, there's a reason I don't like to use this all over my head because it's so sticky that I don't like having like a cement head. You know what I'm saying? And although this hold, the hold on this gel is better, it doesn't have, it's like surprisingly, my hair still feels pretty soft. And this has a hold, but it's, but it feels hard. I feel the difference that the argan oil and the glycerin is making in this product. They're both really great products. The biggest differences are still price point. This is $3, this is 11. You're getting more in here. You're getting slightly less than the cream of nature. The ingredients, this is not natural at all. This has natural components to it. And it's a little bit more moisturizing, which is nice. It has a softer hold and it smooths on a lot nicer, especially for your edges than this does. This is like more stickier. This is more thick and butterier. For both products, you only need a very small amount to set the hair, which is really great because this will last you a really long time. They both have a nice shiny finish on it. I do like the Cream of Nature finish a little bit better because the shine looks realistic. It just kind of enhances the shine that you already have in your hair rather than imparting like a new synthetic looking shine, which is really nice. This doesn't really have a scent, the Gorilla Snot Gel. The Cream of Nature has a nice scent, it's nice. It's like a, I don't know, I, I would just call it a mature scent. I don't, I don't really know how else to describe it, but this is scented and this is not. Although these do similar things, they're not the same product. I, I thought it was gonna be like the exact same product. I think Cream of Nature did a really good job at taking what worked with this product and making it better. I really didn't understand how they were expecting people to do like twist outs and stuff with this product, but now that I see how soft the hold is, even though it's a good hold, it's soft, now that I see that, I can imagine doing a twist out with this gel, and I actually, I might wanna try, I might I might try it. I didn't realize that this was gonna be such a butterier consistency, it's not sticky, I thought it was gonna be like a sticky gel. It's 
It's like a buttery gel, it's nice. But my final thoughts are that this is an awesome product. Comparing the two, they do similar things, they have similar outcomes, but I think that both products are worth their price point. I think that this Gorilla Snot Gel is a steal at $3. Like it's, it just, it's amazing. Like your edges will last all day with this product. Like they're not gonna go anywhere. And it's also great for touching up like protective styles. I would not use this all over my head though. It's just really sticky and hard. Um, and it's gonna give you that like cement finish. But worth $3, it's a steal. If you're not somebody who has to have natural ingredients, if you're just looking to get a good hairstyle and save money, this is the product that you want to get. Now for those who have a couple extra bucks to spend, maybe you want something that's a little bit more natural, you're going to really like this cream of nature. It's a really good product. After you put it on your hair, you're not going to be able to manipulate it. So put it on and work fast. And the same thing goes with the Gorilla Snot Gel. This is something that I can imagine using more all over my head, more than I would this gel, because it's again, more of a buttery texture. So I really think it just comes down to number one, how much you want to spend and how passionately you feel about natural ingredients. So yeah, I guess that's it for my first impression review. I'm gonna leave my hair as is for the rest of the day. I'm gonna go outside, probably get my daughter. It's a little bit humid out there and see what happens. And then I will check back in really quickly at the end of the night just to show you what it looks like. Hey guys, so it's the end of the night. I'm about to go to bed. It is 11.30 at night. And I just wanted to quickly show you my hair. It looks like no time has passed. Is this insane or what? Both sides. It was humid today, I went outside, it was raining. I, you know, I washed the makeup off of my face, so my hair did get a little bit wet around the edges, but still, look, it's, it's nothing. This is literally just because of the water hit it right here. The cream of nature side is still hard, while the gorilla snot side, is, it's still defined, but it's actually a lot softer, so. Looks like the cream of nature held out a little bit better. Wow, it's hard though. The moisture aspect is no longer there. So anyway, I just wanted to make sure that I updated you guys on the gels. And I hope you guys enjoyed this comparison first impression review video. And I'm going to head to bed because I'm tired. I will see you guys in the next one.